Hey, this is Brian. I just wanted to show off my, well, Shay and I's latest acquisition. We picked up a uh, Saddleback leather, uh, it's called the Beast. It's their extra large duffel bag called the Beast. Just to give you an idea of the size of this thing, it is 34 inches long by 14 inches tall, well, 14 inches deep and 14 inches wide. You can literally fit one of my full-sized Australian Shepherds inside this bag with little problems. As long as he's laying down, of course. Oops, sorry, he was just looking at my face. Say hi a little bit. He's checking out the bag. Yep, he saw the camera. He's going to leave now. He's out. He doesn't like the camera much. Anyway, we'll come back and get some close-up looks on this. Um, this video hopefully will come out. It may be a little dark, I'm not quite sure. Saddlebacks claim to fame, so they don't use any parts that can break. You'll notice the buckles, or actual buckles, they're not snaps. He's got some pulleys on here for, for leverage. Um, and this thing carries a lifetime guarantee. Lifetime. Actually, it's not even a lifetime. It's a 100 year guarantee. Not a warranty, but a guarantee. Their uh, slogan is, they'll be fighting over it when you're dead. So, basically that implies your kids or your grandkids will be fighting over these, you know, their pieces once you pass. They'll be around that long. Anyway, I'm going to set it down really quick and I'm going to open it up. It's probably going to be a little dark in there to see, so what I will do is um, I'll get a flashlight too and, and tape while I, I'm doing that. In the meantime, you can watch me open it up. Maybe. You can see here you've got one, two, three, four, <clears throat> five buckle closures on this. So it's going to be extremely secure once it's loaded. Um, it weighs about 12 pounds. It's not overly heavy if you want to use this as a piece of luggage. This is my fourth or fifth large piece. Um, well, this is the largest piece I have. This is my fourth or fifth large piece from, uh, from Saddleback. I've got some of their small gadget bags. I'm sorry, not a gadget, gadget bag, but like a small pouch. Um, a couple of uh, moleskin covers and things of that nature as well. I've also got their standard duffel bag, a backpack, a large briefcase, the wife has a tote. Um, my kids both have uh, computer covers or computer slips for them. Uh, we love, oh my, my wife also has a clutch, but we absolutely love the Saddleback leather products. Um, they're not cheap, they are expensive, but you get what you pay for. This particular piece um, is made from one piece of leather, two pieces of leather, three and four pieces of actual uh, leather with pigskin liners. Hold on one sec, I'm going to grab a flashlight so we can see inside. Give me a better view of the bag here. Bring it on up. Now we actually got this off of Dave's deals. So basically if, uh, and I think this is the reason it was marked down. Dave's deals, if they get um, a bag that might have a, a blemish on it that you can see from maybe 10 feet away, they'll give you uh, a discount on, on the bags. But you gotta watch Dave's deals. I've seen these guys come up a few times, never as cheap as as what this one was. So when we saw this come up, we had to jump on it. Anyway, you can see the inside here. 
not that well but you can see it's got a pocket over there another pocket over here and then just a really really large um, area down in here in which you can pack your luggage in or pack your uh, your clothing or whatever you're going to carry in Dave's video when he's in Africa he got a large almost three foot long drum that he put in here um, and carried it like a backpack this thing can be modified to, to go on on your shoulders like a backpack and he carried it on a backpack on a on a scooter through Africa it's pretty cool anyway here you go uh, you can get an idea of how how big it is wish I could entice one of my dogs over here um, try to get them in it Rudy come here come here boots come here boy come on come here come here come here no come here Rudy come here get in the bag get in the bag come on get in the bag get in the bag get in the bag come on Beauty, you want to do it? You want to get in the bag? What? Nobody wants to get in the bag. Come here. You want to help? Let me help you. you sit this down. Come here. Come here. Come on. Let's get in the bag. Come on. Let's get in the bag. Come on. Let's get in the bag. That's it. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get you all the way in. Let's get you all the way in. You want to sit? Sit? Yeah, it's a good one. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down, lay down, come on, lay down, lay down, lay down, stay right there, just stay, 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 stop licking me and stay. I don't know how well you guys can see this, huh, stay, stay, my wife's going to get mad, I had the dog in here, okay, well, he wanted out, he doesn't like to be in the bag, apparently he's not, oh, that's it. On it. This is also uh, stamped with blue. Well, now it's stamped with slobber, but that's okay. That'll come off. You can see the one of their company logos right there. That's blue. Dave's old black lab. I'm glad that this has it. And I think it's got my first piece with the with blue stamp on it. Anyway, that's it. That's the bag. I wish the video were a little bit better so you could see it more clearly, but uh, maybe I'll shoot another one in the light or in better light sometime soon. Anyway, this is Brian signing out.